The shoulder joint is also known as the glenohumeral joint and is located between the head of the humerus and the glenoid fossa of the scapula. It is the most mobile joint in the human body. It is a synovial, ball and socket, triaxial joint that allows motion within three planes around three axes. Flexion and extension of the arm at the shoulder joint occur within the sagittal plane around a medial lateral axis. Beginning in anatomic position, the client flexes the arm at the shoulder joint. Flexion is an anterior motion of the arm. Now the client extends the arm at the shoulder joint back toward and beyond anatomic position. Extension is a posterior motion of the arm. Now she flexes the arm back to anatomic position. Abduction and adduction of the arm at the shoulder joint occur within the frontal plane around an anteroposterior axis. Beginning in anatomic position, the client abducts the arm at the shoulder joint. Abduction is a lateral motion of the arm away from the midline of the body. The word abduction literally means to take away. The arm is being taken away from the midline. Now she adducts the arm at the shoulder joint. Adduction is a medial motion of the arm toward the midline of the body. In effect, we are adding the arm back to the midline. Note that additional adduction in front of the body can occur if the arm is slightly flexed. And note that additional adduction in back of the body can occur if the arm is slightly extended. Medial rotation and lateral rotation of the arm at the shoulder joint occur within the transverse plane around a vertical axis. Beginning in anatomic position, the client medially rotates the arm at the shoulder joint. Medial rotation turns the anterior surface of the arm toward the midline of the body. Now she laterally rotates the arm at the shoulder joint toward and beyond anatomic position. Lateral rotation turns the anterior surface of the arm to the side, away from the midline of the body. Now she immediately rotates back to anatomic position. The terms horizontal flexion and horizontal extension are special terms used to describe horizontal motions of the arm at the shoulder joint that are anterior and posterior in direction with the arm first in a position of 90 degrees of abduction. These terms are useful to describe many motions that occur in sports. The term horizontal adduction is often used in place of horizontal flexion, and the term horizontal abduction is often used in place of horizontal extension. Beginning with the arm abducted at the shoulder joint 90 degrees in the frontal plane, the client horizontally flexes the arm at the shoulder joint. Now she horizontally extends the arm at the shoulder joint, back toward and beyond the beginning position. Now she horizontally flexes the arm back to the starting position.